Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to cover the SanDisk uh, Pro Meg uh, SSDs, which is uh, an ecosystem that uh, offers, I would say, a lot of advantage to uh, content creators and those on a small production uh, or even just a larger production company. This device um, comes with both a transporter, a Meg transporter, and then also the uh, hub station, which allows you then to offload your footage to your computer and also work on it if you want uh, from the this uh, pro station so in this video I'm going to cover you know how you can use this for yourself uh, if you want to purchase this ecosystem and also just give you my review my thoughts about uh, you know how I'm using it uh, I just recently purchased these pro mags um, I got the two terabyte version and I also got the transport and I think eventually I'll get the hub station which will allow me then to you know increase the amount of mags I get so again in this video I'm going to cover some of my thoughts give you my review and explain to you you know how you can use this system for yourself so that you can be more mobile and more efficient with your workflow um, and I'm going to go with the advantages of using this workflow uh, for, I guess, storage of your footage. Uh, so I'm gonna cover both the mags, which are little devices that almost look like a large, um, you know, gum stick. And I'm gonna explain, you know, what these mags are, and then also the transporter that you can use um, so that you can record on your your uh, camera uh, using these uh, mags. So then I'm also gonna cover the, the SanDisk uh, station and explain to you how you can use this, um, this this station to offload your material and you know to create dailies or to just uh, actually you can work off of this device as well as it does come with a thunderbolt um, attachment or connection and it will give you really fast speeds um, with this system so in this video i'm going to cover you know why you might want to consider this system for yourself uh, how it will probably make your workflow much more efficient in terms of speed and just the ability to have you know greater mobility with your uh, with these small megs they call them and i'm going to cover yeah how you can maybe adopt this for your own workflow so in this video i'm going to cover some of the basis of this device uh, this ecosystem and i'm going to explain you know maybe some of the advantages of using this uh, workflow maybe some of the disadvantages as well and yeah so if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks and have a great day so gone are the days of bulky drives and slow data transfers this SanDisk Professional Pro Blade SSD mags allow up to 2000 read and write. Uh, that is using the transporter. When you use the Pro Blade uh, station, it can be up to 3000 megabit per second transfer speeds. And this will depend obviously on your system. Uh, but this, these mags are very uh, compact and yet I would say very robust in that they allow for up to uh, 4,000 pound crush resistance and also are very, I guess, tough in the sense that you can drop them from three meter drop. Uh, they can carry up to uh, one terabyte, two terabytes and four terabytes uh, at this time uh, in May, 2023. The cool things about this system is it's going to uh, likely obviously advance or be updated through time I imagine and the maybe the transport will be smaller as I did find that it's you know it can be a bit bulky but it's definitely built in a very um, robust and uh, professional way I would say it uses really good material and just seems really solid in the hand and so I would definitely recommend um, the case it's just that maybe over time that they can make it smaller or more um, compact uh, and then I haven't picked up the uh, transport itself uh, or sorry the, the pro blade station but I think as I start to you know get further on in my video career I do plan to expand into getting the station and probably a few megs that way when I'm on site at uh, shooting a video I can easily you know, use the transport and then get back to my place and transfer um, them to the using the pro blade station so again the these megs are lightweight and they're portable so you could keep them in your bag uh, and you could have you know many of them let's say like at least four and that way you could uh, transfer them uh, to another person 
you could uh, easily back up your footage. And so this is why I'm excited about this. I think what I would probably do is get uh, two, uh, two terabyte mags and then get a four terabyte mag. That way I can back up my footage very quickly. And then, you know, in the future, probably get another four terabyte mag, which I can maybe edit off of or just use as storage. Uh, so this is something that I think will really enhance my workflow. You know, what they've done with this uh, system is they, I, can, I think, really thought about the process of being on set in the field and in your post-production workflow. And they've thought about how you can do that in a more mobile and I guess in a way that's faster uh, for, for a lot of professionals. I've, I've seen some criticism online that uh, people feel like maybe they're um, creating something that doesn't need to be created. Uh, it's kind of an additional uh, advancement that doesn't need to occur in the sense that, you know, we are obviously already have hard drives and uh, we can connect directly, you know, with the USB-C usually to the hard drive itself. In this case, they have their own kind of megs and the, their own connection, which I guess some feel like uh, it's not um, as universal as other um, hard drives would be. And I guess I can understand this uh, criticism or this uh, critique, but for me, given my workflow, uh, given the speed of these drives and given the uh, low um, weight of these drives, I, 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 I don't really see much of that criticism being very valid. You know, if you have a, a production company or you're a professional working with a few other professionals, I could, as long as you know these, uh, your uh, production company uh, invests in these mags, or if you're an individual creator and you're working with other creatives that uh, have access to these uh, mags, I could see this working very, uh, very efficiently. And so I'll just discuss the Pro Blade Station. I haven't actually purchased it myself, but what this will allow you to do is to offload your footage, and you can have up to four mags at a time. Uh, seamlessly, you know, through Thunderbolt and using USB-C connection, and you'll make your transfer speeds a breeze. Again, you have up to one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabytes with these mags, and it will allow also up to a Thunderbolt connection, which is 40 gigabyte, gigabits. I found in my own personal use using the just the um, mag uh, with the transporter that with my MacBook Pro. Uh, I think it's a 2002, sorry, 2022 version. It only transfers up to, I think, a thousand uh, read and write speed. So I think there obviously is some issue with the connection in that regard. But I understand, I think that the uh, Pro Blade Station will allow up to that, uh, you know, USB-C uh, Thunderbolt speeds, which is up to, I guess, a 40 gigabit connection, which they say, which will allow for up to 3000 read and uh, 2600 megabit um, write. So if you want to ensure that you know you're getting optimal performance for your production team or just for your own personal workflow, I would definitely recommend this system. The uh, transporter uh, offers ventilation that uh, really cools the drive and the actual um, uh, station is going to allow a lot of cooling so your drive is going to stay cool which will, you know, up your speed and allow you to edit up to, you know, let's say 6K or even higher footage. Um, and I think for me, this is going to help me using my Blackmagic 6K, allow me to, you know, record higher quality codecs uh, using the B-RAW. I could see this working really well with documentary type creators that uh, have a lot of footage. Uh, again, you can get up to four terabyte on your drive and depending on which codec, let's say you're using uh, the Blackmagic 6K, uh, you know, two terabytes, you know, if you're shooting in B-RAW, actually you can use that up fairly quickly. So, but if you're shooting in a lower, let's say their um, lower version, uh, or if you're shooting ProRes, you're gonna get uh, much more time and space um, on your drives. So I would say that this is the future of data storage and I'm looking forward to investing in this system. I think there are some trade-offs like any system, but for me, I'm excited about um, the advancement that this workflow will allow me. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.